to make pancakes from scratch. Pancakes are definitely one of the ways to make a weekend breakfast special, but a lot of people settle for pancake mix simply because they've never learned how to make pancakes from scratch. A pity, really, when you consider that it's so simple that even a kid could do it. The ideal pancake is light and fluffy, the sort of texture which lets you finish an entire stack without feeling weighed down in the tummy. While maple syrup and butter are de rigueur, a side of bacon or sausages turns it into a healthy and nutritious breakfast meal. You will find that the saltiness of the bacon or sausage will beautifully offset the sweetness, something to keep in mind when you need to get your day off to a great start. Here is a simple recipe which will yield enough fluffy pancakes for four. 1. Prepare the following ingredients. 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Don't use more than this or it can give a bitter aftertaste to the batter. 1 cup of whole milk, 1 large egg, 2 tablespoons of unsalted butter that has been allowed to soften to room temperature, and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Also, prepare your choice of toppings, be it the classic butter and maple syrup or variations such as chocolate syrup, fruit preserves, honey, sweet whipped cream, and confectioner's sugar, etc. 2. Pancakes taste best when served warm, which can be a problem when the family wants to eat together. To prevent the first few pancakes from turning cold, have a warming pan ready. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees and place a baking sheet on the oven shelf. As each pancake cooks, keep it in the warm oven until ready to serve. 3. In a small bowl, take the dry ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt, and mix them all together. Set aside for the meantime. 4. Take a medium bowl and pour in the milk and the butter. Break the egg and add it as well. Using a wire whisk, lightly beat the egg, and little by little add the dry ingredients. Keep whisking just until all the dry ingredients are moistened. Leave the lumps for now. Over mixing will work the gluten in the flour and will make your pancakes dense rather than fluffy. 5. Take your griddle or skillet and let it heat up. You are ready to start cooking your pancakes when a drop of water jumps once on the hot surface before evaporating. Use a non-stick spray to keep the pancake batter from sticking. You can also brush the cooking surface lightly with oil or butter. 6. Take a ladle and carefully pour out the batter into the pan. The batter should spread out over the available surface, but if needed, you can use the back of a spoon to help it along. The amount of batter you pour depends on how small or how big you want your pancakes to be. Keep in mind that the larger the pancake is, the harder it will be to flip. 7. Let the batter cook until bubbles form on the surface. Wait until a few of these bubbles burst. That tells you that it's time to turn. Use a spatula to carefully scrape off the bottom of the pancake and deftly flip it. Let the other side cook for about one to two minutes and then transfer it to the warming pan in the oven. 8. Repeat the process until all of the pancake batter has been cooked. Serve with your desired toppings and or sides. As you can see, learning how to make pancakes from scratch is not really that hard. You will find that making pancakes from scratch will cost you much less than if you had bought a box of mix. The next time that the family is craving for some pancakes, why don't you give this recipe a try?